If you're a woman over 40 and you are looking to lose weight for the last time, you are in the right spot. Welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. My name is Nicole Simonin and I'm your host. And we all know that we need to move more and eat less, but why don't we do it? I give clients the skill sets they need through fitness, nutrition, and most importantly, mindset, because that's the missing piece to all this. So if you've tried a ton of diets and are still looking for the latest and greatest 12 week workout program and still haven't seen results, it's the mindset part that is missing for you. So when you become a client, you will not just learn how to lose a weight, but you're going to learn how to keep it off for life. I hope you will enjoy this podcast, and when you're ready to lose the weight for the last time, head over to shapeitupfitness.com and schedule your strategy session where possibility starts and results begin. Hey everybody, welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. I am still having technical difficulties, so this podcast today is going to be short, but action-packed with all kinds of tips and it's perfect timing because we just passed the July 4th. So I apologize if the sound is off or if it's not quite up to the usual par. Hopefully we'll be back on pace for the next podcast. Anyway, so I am so glad that you are here and listening and I am so excited how the podcast is going. People are, you know, telling me how valuable the information is and how awesome we're getting awesome reviews and also we are climbing the ranks um last i checked i think i w- we were at 146 in the fitness category in the united states so that's pretty awesome if you are familiar with podcasts there's a ton lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of podcasts out there so to be classified uh, or rated as 146, I am pretty stoked, especially because we just started in January. So let's dive into today's topic. So we're talking about eating too much over the weekends and holidays. And like I said, this is perfect because today is July 6th and July 4th has passed. Um, We are still in COVID. For most of us, I know we are still self-quarantining. Um, so this year, 4th of July might have looked a little different for you. Um, so at the end of the weekend or the holiday or vacation, a lot of times people start thinking about all the foods that you want to eat. And so over the weekend, you know, you may have had thoughts of like, I have to eat all the food. Because on Monday, I need to start getting back into my quote-unquote normal routine or I need to go on my diet again, things like that. And what I like to call it is the last supper syndrome. Okay, it's not really a syndrome. It's totally something I made up. But I love, well, I don't love, but I love the name of it because it really holds true, like you feel like on Sunday night, that's your last supper before the whole diet thing takes place, before you go back to restriction, before you go back to white knuckling it to get to the weight that you want to get to. And when you think that way, you're more than likely going to way overeat during the holiday. And your brain will start telling you how great it's going to be, how you're going to have hot dogs and hamburgers and chips and, of course, dessert. And you really think that this is the last time you're ever going to eat this type of food and you go way overboard. And a lot of you, you can do a self-evaluation if you like, but a lot of you, even Sunday night, you're like, oh, I got to eat this. I got to eat this because one Sunday, it's like, you know, Cinderella with the pumpkin and the the ball. Once midnight hits, it's Monday. And now I'm back to my diet and restriction. So that is very classic diet mentality from the 70s and the 80s, maybe the 90s. And it backfires on you every single time <laughs> because what happens you know, you eat all this food and then 
you feel guilty about it to an extent, but there's some comfort in knowing that you're going back to the diet on Monday. But that's not the way to live life. It's, you know, it's like binging and purging. You you are going back and forth and back and forth and your body doesn't exactly enjoy it either because if you think about it when you eat all that food a lot of times you feel sick to your stomach you know you don't want to move you feel nauseous you just feel uh and doing this it's no way to get lasting and sustainable weight loss so i have three tips for you to get over your last supper syndrome and to stop overeating on weekends and holidays and before I dive into those three tips, I want to let you know that I am offering a free challenge. It's called Crush Your Cravings, and it starts, we're going to be running um, them about once a month. So the next one is starting soon, and you can find it at shapeitupfitness.com slash cravings um, with an S at the end. And you can sign up. It's absolutely free. It's a seven-day challenge. Um, it's a so mind-blowing <laughs> to like find out these tips and tools that I'm going to give you. So if you are suffering with the Last Supper Syndrome, definitely go check out the Crush Your Cravings Challenge. Again, it's at shapeitupfitness.com slash stop cravings. All right, so here are the three tips to get over the Last Supper Syndrome. Number one, there is no Monday. <laughs> Just I know I do it too, like as far as like Monday is the start of the week and it's like a clean slate and you got to think of each day as there's only today. There's only this moment, which is a good thing because if you think about it, you can change your mind in an absolute split second, whether or not you want to, you know, you choose to eat whatever food, um, say it's you know, you're overeating, you get to choose if you want to overeat, you get to choose if you don't want to overeat. You can make whatever choice you want, and those decisions are either going to propel you towards your goal or away from your goals. You have some immense power behind that. You are in control of your weight. So if you are not happy with where you are right now, it is all because of the choices that you are making. And again, this is what I work on with clients in the mindset part. That is so the missing piece to all this. And I know this because I've done the nutrition and the fitness on myself and on clients. And a lot of times it worked. Um, I know personally for me, a lot of times I would, I would white knuckle my way down to a weight and then I'd be like, it would creep back up. And it's all the mindset and it's all figuring out why you do the things that you do. So that's what I do when I coach clients. Um, so just be aware that there's a lot of power in the choices that you make and you get to decide whether you're heading towards your goals or away from your goals. So the second tip is, and I can't stress this enough, um, and if you do the Crush Your Cravings Challenge, you're going to learn a more. We're going to dive deeper into this particular tip. But no foods are off limits. Seriously, do not let anyone confuse you or pressure you about what you should or should not be eating. Absolutely, some foods have higher quality than other, for sure, right? But if you want to eat Oreo cookies, you can fit them into your foods and still lose weight. Number three, <clears throat> excuse me, give yourself permission to enjoy the foods that you want to eat. Foods are supposed to be enjoyable, right? Of course, don't go overboard. If you want a hamburger, don't have four hamburgers. Have one hamburger. Enjoy it. Savor it. Move on. It's all about lifestyle changes that ensure you can fit it in what you want to eat and still get the results that you want to achieve. Again, it goes back to the mindset part too, as far as like, if you're, why do you want to have four hamburgers instead of one? Why do you want to over, overeat? Why is it that you are uncomfortable just eating until you're satisfied? So those are some questions that you can absolutely ask yourself. So I hope these three tips are helpful f for you and just know that there are going to be times where you overeat, 
And that's okay too, as long as they don't outnumber the days where you're, um, you know, you don't want to have too many overeating days versus undereating days if you are trying to lose weight. If you're trying to maintain, that's a different story. <laughs> so, all right, that is my podcast for today. Again, you can check out Crush Your Cravings Challenge at shapeitupfitness.com slash craving, no, that's wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Shaveitupfitness.com slash stop cravings. That is where you will find the challenge. So go ahead and register for that. Like I said, it's absolutely free. You can check it out and it is going to start soon. So make sure you share with a friend and uh, get into that challenge. I'm telling you, it is so, so powerful. All right. That is all for me today and I will talk to you soon. Bye. If you are looking for quick and easy meals to put together that have minimal cleanup time, then I want to introduce you to the No Fuss, No Mess, Shape It Up cookbook. This is perfect for the non-chef who wants quick meals, minimal cleanup time, and a smaller waistline. Inside your cookbook includes healthy recipes with easy to find ingredients, time savers in the kitchen, easy cleanup, and most meals are made in one pot. Spend less time in the kitchen and more time doing the things that you love. The No Fuss, No Mess, Shape It Up cookbook. Now available at Amazon.com.